Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer here. And today I wanted to talk about why vegetarians need to step it up. Let me tell you about a personal story. I used to work with someone that was a vegetarian and I found it very strange because she was very angry that people around her didn't understand that animals were suffering and so she decided to go on a vegetarian diet and I asked her like why did you decide to go on a vegetarian diet and she said well I watched Earthling and I liked animals so much and didn't like the taste of didn't adore the taste of meat that much and decided I would go on a vegetarian diet because I love animals. And I'm like, but you do realize that there's still a lot of cruelty involved. The second you still drink milk or eat cheese or eat eggs. And she's like, yeah, but I'm doing all I can. In my head, I'm thinking, you're not really doing all you can because... Instead of eating cheese, you can eat vegan cheese. Instead of drinking milk, you can decide to eat, or drink, I should say, rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, uh, any type of milk, coconut milk. There's a lot of vegan milks out there, and once you start drinking those, you actually acquire a taste for them, and you'll start not liking ordinary milk that much once you try it a lot. And, uh, well, a lot. I would say after one week or two, you kind of realize, oh, it actually tastes even better than regular milk. And you won't even want to switch back to the old milk. And the thing with eggs also, there's a lot of cruelty involved. So, for me, I found it very weird that she would say, like, that she would say that. And just the fact, the cognitive dissonance that was going on. Like just saying like all my friends and family members they're not really helping out the animals so much but yet she wasn't helping out animals so much because if you just transfer the type of food that you're eating from eating meat and you decide to switch all of the, the meat products that you'd be normally eating and just switch those to milk or cheese or eggs well you're pretty much just going from one type of cruelty going to a different type of cruelty and even in my opinion, uh, I find the milk, the dairy industry to be even more cruel than the meat industry, even though they're quite related. Um, and same thing when it comes to the eggs, because they're not killed right away. They're actually kept for long periods of time in cages because they round up just laying eggs or are producing milk so they're not killed the second that they're big enough they're still in prison for very very long times a very very long time and they have their babies taken away from them uh so they can have more cows producing more milk and so they can have more chickens to produce more eggs so and the second the baby rounds up being a male in that case he's gonna round up being killed um because they don't necessarily decide to take them all and have them be uh, huge adults to be eaten. When there's too many of them, they just decide to kill the babies uh, pretty much the same day. So, I don't know. I, I find it very weird when vegetarians say that they're doing it for the animals. I do understand when, let's say, a vegetarian doesn't necessarily get what he's doing when he doesn't understand like I was vegetarian for a very long time for about five years but I had no one vegan in my near environment and pretty much no clue exactly what I was doing because the second I decided oh, I just don't want to hurt the animals uh, no one came over and told me well you do realize that going vegetarian you're still gonna round up hurting animals I wasn't thinking clearly, I wasn't really thinking about it, and everyone was telling me, well, you still need protein. And as we all know, the protein meat is a big one, because there's a lot of muscular, bodybuilding type guys out there that are totally vegan, never eat any animal products, and they have huge muscles, so you don't need to be eating or eggs or drinking milk 
or any meat type of meat to be a huge muscular guy or just to be alive because some people find that if you don't eat protein that comes from animals you're not eating any protein which is obviously not the case because there's protein and everything that we eat so yeah that's totally another myth and I don't know what else to say about cognitive dissonance when it comes to vegetarians but I always found it very weird once they get the information and they decide not to change and let's say that person I'm talking about like even after a year of working with that person she was still kind of denying the fact that milk is as cruel as meat and eggs are as cruel as meat so I guess there's not much else to say but if you are vegetarian please realize that it's as cruel and it's quite easy to change because trust me milk you'll definitely love everything that's soy milk uh, health milk rice milk all those type of milks you'll love them cheese it can be sometimes hard to find but you have to try a few and maybe create your own nut cheese but once you haven't eaten cheese in a while you just realize you really don't need it you don't need to have um, any type of milk from another animal that's not a human animal uh, we're not drinking any rat's milk we're not eating or drinking any dog's milk or any other type of milk that's not from our own species except for cow's milk so that's kind of fucked up <laughs> And once you don't have it for a while, you're going to be quite all right. You won't feel the need to have it again. And eggs, um, yeah, it'll, it'll gross you out after all. You're just going to realize it's it's chicken period. So it's like yuck. And you can make your own version now. There's a lot of different products out there. You can have or make scrambled tofu, which you just round up using, I don't know, olive oil and tofu and onions and you just put a little bit of curcumin on there and uh, you can use what else what else um yeah curcumin gives it kind of that color you can use onion powder and uh, garlic powder and or just check out pretty much any recipes online i don't need that a whole lot often anyways i'm gonna stop talking because i'm rolling on very very long but uh just wanted to make uh, a video a pretty basic video today with me talking about my opinion about vegetarians and they need to step it up to help the animals. Okay, you guys, uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.